earthquake struck on New Year's Day. Now, authorities have confirmed that at least 48 people were killed due to the 7.6 magnitude quake. It reduced hundreds of buildings to rubble and forced tens of thousands to flee to higher ground. The Japan Meteorological Agency warned that more strong shocks could hit in the coming days. Well, the new year is also ushering in growing concerns in the Middle East. Yeah, and Israel making a major announcement about its military strategy in its war with Hamas. NBC's Bree Jackson has the latest. Israeli forces ramping up strikes in southern Gaza as Israel unveils plans to reduce troops to prepare for prolonged fighting and to free up units in case the conflict spreads to other parts of the region. Tensions in the Middle East are rising. Over the weekend, Yemen-based Houthis, backed by Iran, tried to hijack a container ship in the Red Sea, shooting at U.S. Navy helicopters. U.S. forces then sunk three Houthi boats, killing everyone on board. The Houthis say they're targeting Israeli-bound ships in solidarity with the Palestinians, but have repeatedly attacked ships with no connection to Israel. The point where the diplomacy must lead in all of this so we can keep this war local between Hamas and Israel. As the war rages in Gaza, the Biden administration once again bypassed Congress and approved an emergency arms sale to Israel, selling $140 million in equipment. Secretary of State Antony Blinken defending the move, saying it's vital to U.S. national interest to ensure Israel can defend itself. Meanwhile, pro-Palestinian protesters rallied in several cities, calling for the United States to cease sending aid to Israel. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.